que no es justo para mis hijos que ya no tengan su papá. Blanca Parra is mourning the death of her fiancé and the father of her two children, Hugo Dominguez. I feel lost without him. It was the love of my life and I feel so angry with the company. Family members say Dominguez started feeling sick around April 16th with a fever and body aches. He just step out in the middle of the shift at 4.50 p.m. on Sunday and he said he told them that I can, he can continue working because he was feeling sick. Dominguez's family says he tested positive for COVID-19 and died April 25th. Community activist Carlos Quintanilla says workers told him 52 employees have tested positive and two employees have died. We reached out to the state health department, which referred us to Dallas County Health and Human Services. The county did not confirm an exact number, but did say it is aware of COVID-19 cases associated with the company and is investigating those cases. It's very clear with talking to several dozen workers that they accelerated the pressure. There was a lot of pressure from this company to produce. Quality Sausage, which supplies meat for pizza toppings and other foods, denies these allegations. The company said it cannot comment on specific employees' health due to privacy concerns, but says it did provide paid sick time and implemented safety guidelines, including social distancing checking employee temperatures, restricting outside visitors, and sanitizing common areas. The company has also paused operations, saying in a statement, we have taken this action as a way to help protect the health and safety of our team members and expect to conclude our review during the week of April 27th. During this pause in production, all employees will continue to be paid. We also expect no disruption in supplying products to our customers at this time based on current inventory. But Dominguez's family still believes the company is responsible. They didn't protect him. He had to get out himself because they didn't do nothing for them. And the company says it is cooperating with health and safety officials and has adopted its safety re uh, procedures to reflect updated health and safety guidance. The company also went on to say, according to the FDA and the CDC, there's no evidence that COVID-19 can be transmitted through food. Clarice?